Hello everybody, it's me again, and welcome back to the return of Skyrim shenanigans. Oh, I'm so excited! I've done a lot of playing, actually, on this save off-camera. I think the last episode I did, I was a level 13, and now I'm a level 28. So I've actually been messing around a lot in this game. I found some badass Falmer armor. I've joined the Dark Brotherhood, I've joined the Thieves Guild, I'm now a Nightingale. Uh, I've done the Dawnguard DLC. I have Dawnbreaker. I've done a lot of stuff. Yeah. Where did that boy run off to? Onment! There you are. Here's my buddy. This is my new companion, Onment. He's my favorite. He was my companion in my original save. And so I had to get him back in this save because he's amazing and I love him. So are we heading out? We are indeed heading out. Let's go. I'm right with you. Good to hear, buddy. Good to hear. Okay. Now, there's a few things that I thought would be interesting. However, I have actually changed the face of my character. Um, I'm hiding it because I'm going to go to Riften and change it again. So, yeah. I'm going to create an original character that no one else has. And I can't switch to female, so I can't make it look like me, which kind of sucks. See, there's Dawnbreaker. It's the initiates you were from the Dawnguard DLC. Um, I've got, a, like, a golden claw around here somewhere, I think. I don't remember. But I've got a shit ton of stuff all stored away in the Archmage's quarters, which is where we are. As you can see, Onmin's wearing the Archmage's robes. He is a master of lightning, and he's a very powerful mage, and he's badass, and I freaking love him, and he's awesome. I can just create a sword whenever I want to, and it doesn't take up any spaceness. And this is a staff of healing that I can use to heal my friends. Ah, uh, thanks. Not sure it's necessary, though. It's always necessary with you, Onmin. You're my buddy, and I like you. Okay, and I can also conjure bone men if I want to. I also have the soul tear shout at this point. Basically, if you guys don't know what that is, you can shout at something if it's not a dragon. Dragons are immune to it. I did it on a giant. It was freaking amazing. You literally rip the soul right out of them and kill them in one with one that single shout, and you can um and they immediately become your ally for I don't know how long, probably thirty seconds maybe. Yeah, summon Durnavir. I've got a lot of cool stuff. So I thought we would focus for magic. We'd focus on conjuration. And for stealth, we'll focus on blade stealth like with swords and such. However, you can't really use conjuration in the, by an enemy without them hearing you. So I do have a dagger. Yes, a dagger. Okay, so this is gonna be our loadout. We're gonna try b blade stealth and- Perhaps we can hide. go another few distance without disaster. And um, that would the be conjuration, nice. we'll see how that works. Yeah, it'll be fun. We're gonna have so much fun, aren't we, Onmint? We're gonna have so much fun, okay. So I thought, to start off, I would go to Riften and change my character's face. I think I need to leave the actual college to do that. Let's go down here and see what's... Yes, okay. But so, I mean, you guys saw, my inventory's pretty darn empty. I mean, in terms of weapons and stuff. I'm gonna try and start off as much from scratch as possible, and I'm only keeping the stuff that I know I'll need. I only have this sword because apparently it acts as a key to something that I haven't found yet. And some stabs for magic. And yeah, so I'm not going to have anything that doesn't associate itself with blade stealth or conjuration. I'm going to try and stick to those as rigidly as possible. Just for the sake of different gameplay. Because I've done the dual swords with Edward, which is actually the same save. Um, and I've done this bow stealth, archery stealth with uh, Wei Ken. So now we're going to pick a different character. An original one. And we're going to have fun with it. Okay. Hello, sir. How are you? That old woman who runs the office. Yeah. No. Also, you guys will notice that Skyrim Shenanigans is really the only series that I am continuing that I'm not adding a face cam to. It, excuse me, it's for the sake of role-playing. There's a shrine of Talos back here! How can a humble servant of Talos help you? Hi! Talos bless you, my child. Talos bless you! Talos preserve you. Talos preserve you! I bless thee, Talos! I just clicked on the left stick to spray because of Far Cry. God damn it. Alright. Good lord almighty, gotta turn that down a little bit. Okay. Into the sister. I don't believe Onmund has ever been in here with me. I'm gonna meet some of my friends, including Sapphire, that bitch. I hate her so much. She's told me the story of her childhood and her past, 
Yeah, that sucks, but you're still a bitch. Because I know what you did. Yeah. I know you what you to did Go to ahead. that stable boy, you whore, and I hate you. The stable boy in Riften, I think, came up to me and he's like, Sapphire keeps pushing me for money that I don't have. Like, can you please talk to her and get her to drop it? And I'm like, sure. So I went over to Sapphire, I talked to her, and I was like, hey, drop it. And she was like, okay, fine, I'll drop it. After some convincing, she agreed with me. And then later, I'm in uh, uh, Markarth, I think, and a, a courier comes up to me and he's like, oh yeah, this is for you. Oh, and sorry for your loss. I'm like, sorry for my loss, who died? And I was like, Onmond, did you die? And I turned around and was like, nope, Onmond's still there. Okay, good. So I open up the letter and the name of the stable boy, I, I forget the name at this point, I could probably check. Shader, yeah, the stable boy. Suddenly he died. Fucking bitch. All right, woman. Sorry, man. I know, Brynjolf, my fellow Nightingale. Hello, woman, I want to change some. my face. Make it quick. Almond's looking at me back there like, what are you doing to yourself? <laughs> okay, so I think I've come up with a new character. Um, I've wanted to make a male character with a mohawk for so long, but never had any reason to. But now YouTubing gives me a reason to. So he's got a ginger mohawk. His name has to be stuck as Edward for the save. I can't change it, which kind of sucks. But we could come up with another name for him. Um... Uh, how about Yunder? Just like, you know, like a, a Skyrim-esque name. J-U-N-D-R. Yunder. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, Yunder. This is Yunder. Everybody meet Yunder! Say hello to Yunder. He's freaking cool. He's got a mohawk and jet. Yeah. With green war paint. Because red and green. Merry Christmas, bitches. Okay. All right, Onaman, what do you think? Do I look cool? Of course I look cool. I'm wearing Falm or Master Arm or whatever it's called. Welcome to the cozy little family. I'm one of I've the- I've been here for months! I watched films. Okay, now that we're done with that, I want our next order of business to go to Dawnstar, because I don't think I've ever been there. Like, ever. I don't remember what it looks like. I don't remember anything that happens there. I just don't- Oops. Let's go back. Okay, now Dawnstar is... Oh my god, which way? Which way is Dawnstar? I'm facing it. Okay, so let's just follow the road. Uh -oh. Ice wolves! <laughs> That's right, I forgot. I leveled it up, so whenever I use Conjured Weapon ah! and kill something with it, it captures the soul. Awesome. Actually, the way I discovered that Onmond is my favorite companion, it's actually a very interesting story. I did the thing with his family necklace or whatever, and so then I, after I completed that, I got the option to follow him, for, for him to follow me. And I was like, okay, whatever, let's just see how you do. So I was wandering around outside Winterhold, and all of a sudden these guys were like, Hey, come over here! And I was like, why? Like, him over there, it turns out they're vampire bandit assholes, wh whoever they were. But they w whoever they were, they wanted to kill me. And there was like seven of them, and I was like, oh shit. And I didn't I didn't have any of my weapons out, and I was like, oh crap, oh no, I'm not gonna be able to fight them all off, I'm gonna die! And all of a sudden, just this explosion of lightning. Seriously, it was just all of a sudden lightning. Why do you make this sound when I'm close to you? But then anyway, I turned around, and there's Onmin with two fists full of lightning, running up to me. And I was like, oh my god, you just saved my life. And he has been my companion from that day forward. In my original save. This is Dawnstar? I was expecting something... not quite so village-looking. We come to Dawnstar at a strange time, friend. Seems everyone in the town is having nightmares. My cousin's out fighting... Why is everyone in Dawnstar having nightmares? Stop making that noise around me! It's very disconcerting, Onmond. Like, why are you doing this? Nope, oh, still making the noise. Well, alright. He's weird. I can always.
always tell when Onmin's right behind me. All he hears that crackling. She's never done that before. Oh, Your big self. Oh, that's right. One of my assassination contracts is here for the Dark Brotherhood. This is my family's legacy. What? It's the past. Dead oaths on dead lips. Let it Quiet! The museum is open, Medina. Mm -hmm. What's wrong, Medina? I beg you, don't go into Silas's museum. Uh, what are you, what, why? Silas comes from one of the oldest families in Dawnstar. They have a complicated history. Several of his ancestors belong to the mythic Dawn, the cult that almost destroyed Tamriel. His family's involvement was only found out well after the crisis had died down, but it still ruined their reputation. They were outcasts. Hmm. And now Silas is back, and this museum to the mythic dawn is his way of trying to rebuild his family's pride. It's misguided. Okay. I'll take your word for it. That museum is a mistake. Silas! And here oh. comes my first visitor. I, who says I'm the museum of the mythic dawn is open, friend. Uh, um, what was that argument about? Never mind that. Medina is a good woman. But I have my own reasons for opening this museum, and I'm not changing my mind. I have a collection of artifacts from the group that toppled an empire. Their importance to history cannot be forgotten. Why don't you come in? You can browse the displays and we can talk. I have a job you look perfect for. So I guess that invitation in my inventory is not necessary? Sure, why not? Let's talk inside. Pieces of the past. Okay, Onmin, you really need to stop making that noise. I hope it wouldn't pass through a loading screen that it. Let's. Yes, let's. Get out of the way, the door, damn it. Feel free to look around. Onmin, why do you have to make so much noise? Job, I mentioned. Why is it as soon as I have my capture turned on, then you start fooling around? What, do you like the attention? Huh? Do you? Found in hideouts, where members of the Mythic Dawn would meet. The cult's greatest accomplishment was the assassination of the Septim Dynasty. Very interesting. That burned paper is all that remains of the fabled Mysterium Zarxis, the blasphemous book written by Megrun's Dagon himself. It's said that Mankar Cameron used. I like this place. Then again, I like all museums. It seems very, very. What's this? The commentaries on the Mysterium Zarxes were written by the mythic Dawn cult leader, Wait. Mankar Cameron. He promised a paradise awaited his followers when they died, that they would be reborn by Merun Stagon's side. Okay, I have a question now. If this is all that was left of the Mysterium Zarxes, what are these? Commentaries of Mysterium Zarxes? They aren't actually the official texts. Maybe that's it. How about this? Those books were worn during the Mythic Dawn secret meetings, where they plotted to bring the day from a rune Dagon into Tamriel. I like. Each bolt of yarn used to make the robe was colored with the dye, made from sacrificial blood. Well, maybe that's not quite so cool anymore, but okay. Very cool. Did you have any questions about the museum, or would you rather talk business? Uh, Coyer gave me this pamphlet. And here you are. I hope you found the museum to your liking. I, I don't know what I was expecting <laughs> with that one, okay. Um, let's talk about this job you want done. Although I forget what that job is. A little or history first. It. After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the Mythic Dawn. One of these groups found Merun's Razor, the artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. Ooh. That was almost 150 years ago, and the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group, and they're right here, in Skyrim. So you want me to retrieve these fragments for you? At least two of the owners, Gonzal and Draskua, are dangerous marauders, and the third owner, Jorgen. I only know he lives in Morthal. Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. 
Oh, right? Keepers of the razor. Retrieve the pommel, the hilt, and the blade shards. So I'm guessing it's a sword or a dagger. Um, oh, okay. Good luck finding the fragments. Thank you. Can you stop making noises? Huh? Okay, you got my audience's attention. By being a nuisance, you can stop now. 